All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to uh, the Boner Party. Uh, let's see, so we've got... Well, we got a little bit of a boost last time. I don't really have a whole lot on me. Oh, but we want to go drop things off in the stash. I think I'm probably just going to drop kind of equipment off in the shared stash. Eh. Uh, we'll drop these off. I'm probably going to get new ones, but still. Oh, there is stuff here. Okay. I might as well just keep, like, a lot of my stuff in the shared stash. Maybe probably use some of them. I remember it, you can actually retrieve them somehow. Uh, let's see. So this is the enchanter. He just, he just enchants things for X amount of money. Okay. So, neat, kind of cheap thing. I think my mod set it so I don't actually lose anything. Treasure to create new items. Okay, so that's this is this is just the Herodric dude, and we've also got these guys. Uh, destroys items, recovering gems inside. Gems in socketed items. Okay, so things that I don't really care about yet. Uh, possibly ever. I I know there's like a wealth of pseudo in-game stuff that I can do for Torchlight, but honestly, I don't know if I care too much. I'm probably just going to rush for the base, uh, or base, the bottom, the end of the story, and then we'll, you the know. The miners chip their way down through the rock, unaware of the tombs below. When they finally break through, I hope they are wise enough to flee, collapsing their tunnels behind them. This vault was rightly sealed. It was an experiment as ill-fated as my own. Their ancestors are animated not with life, but with the same dark energy that flows through the ember veins. Separating out the vileness is impossible. Immortality lies forever beyond our reach. I was a fool to think otherwise. Yeah, we're just gonna rush for the, the bottom. And, you know what? It'll work out. I mean, hopefully the boner party is going to be strong enough that they can more or less just wreck their way through everything for me. Uh, and if not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Mainly because, like, I've got so many other things to get through as much as I'd like to mess around in, like, post-game stuff with this game. There's also, like, well, Path of Exile, which I've consistently always wanted to do a series on. Or, um, I mean, Torchlight 2. I've got Torchlight 2, uh, you know, kind of in the future. That I might try a little bit harder on. We'll see. Unfortunately, my zombies are kind of on the slow side. Uh, totally understandably. I'd like to maybe... I wonder how many other, like, uh... Like, spells I could get. Like, how many other summons are there in this game? Or is it really just kind of the same summons and just, like, higher level iterations they're in? I, I know there are some, like, neat things that you can do... Along the way in, in uh... Uh, what is it? Well, Path of Exile. And I never really got far enough in Torchlight 2. Apparently, like, you can upgrade skills in kind of different and interesting ways. Which actually does sound really fun. So, eh, we'll see. Oh, I wonder if my dog's summoning things. It probably isn't. What I should probably do is teach my dog the, uh... The Team Heal spell. Because that seems like a, a decent choice. Something that opens this up. Uh, maybe it's out here? Ah, there it is. Here's the solution. Yep, this is the solution. I probably... Oh, I don't need to care too much. Might get my hands on some, like, AoE spells, because my single target DPS with all these guys is great. It's really a matter of, uh, my AoE is garbage. Well, it's fine. They'll figure it out. Just gotta, just gotta get them in there, cause yeah, the uh, the a AI on the uh, the companion minions, little on the crappy side of things, not so bad, but like you know, they're not exactly like mashing themselves into tight spaces to murder the crap out of everything involved. That was, I mean, many other games. I don't actually remember the AI in uh, Diablo 2 being particularly great either. Like, wow, already. I guess it makes sense. I keep picking up all this crap. Oh, you know what? Do we want to go get the... The no white items? 
I wonder if it just removes them th from the drop pool, or if it just makes every every item better than white. I mean, there's both of those? I don't know. I guess really I should just stop picking up white items, but that requires me to think about stuff. I don't like thinking. Thinking is thinking is hard. Thinking is for for chump people. Not me. I don't think. I just do. I mean, no, I actually spend a fair amount of time thinking. It's been an interesting week. Uh, obviously, if you guys heard the intro to episode one, I was talking about being homeless. I am still homeless as of this episode's recording. Uh, and might be for the next couple days. We'll see. Um, I'm going to have to figure out my like exact plan and what I'm going to be doing. Because the... Uh, that's interesting that they actually fade into view. I really actually like the enemy designs in this game. It, cartoony designs work better for me. I think I, I like Diablo's style. It's fun, but like it gets kind of murky after a while. And I just I just like, you know, kind of cartoonish, uh, more super deformed, kind of sort of, but like, you know, without becoming uh, egregiously so. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so we're still waiting waiting to hear back from the uh, the leasing agent, and mostly just kind of waiting. We had to switch hotels today, because, uh, yeah, what do you know? There were no openings at the hotel we were in until this morning, at which point I had already booked, a, booked this hotel. So we're currently in a sub-bar hotel, which, you know, I thought it was going to be better. It had, like, king suites, and I'm like, yeah, it'll have some space for Shell. And uh, then they got rid of the door between the two the two suites, so she's hearing every word that I say. She's, I think, compiling a list of all of the misfortunate things that have happened to us thus far, which is considerable. <laughs> I'm going to have some interesting videos by the time we're done done with all of this. But uh, so yeah, now I'm, at least I have a slightly more comfortable setup. The last time, the last couple of recording sessions were me jammed in a corner on like a really small table just trying very hard to uh to fit Ooh, that's a lot of stuff uh we could probably get rid of the unidentified pistol the ordinary blade the bow and the wood hammer most of those aren't any good get rid of most of the greens too uh maybe not the rings definitely the belt definitely not the boots okay what are these booties? They're better than what I got. That's not. Mm, plus three ice damage. I don't actually know if that works on... Just all ice damage, or... Who knows? That's the extra strength, extra poison damage. So that's kind of nice. Uh, now some of these do actually have, like, slots in them, but I don't think I care. I can't carry any more. Get out of here, cat. Has departed. Okay, so what do we what do we grab? Uh, we could get Ember Lightning. Weapon damage 20%, does a ton of damage, got good knockback. We could work on Charm Spell Mastery. What is this? Increased damage, armor, and health. Hey, if it let me summon more, I might care. But right now, I don't know. I feel like it'd be better for me to just invest in just pure raw pet damage or getting more, more Nether Imps. Yeah, let's get another, let's get more nether imps. Speaking of, I think, I think all my nether imps have disappeared. There we go. There we go. Alright, I was wondering, the, the army felt a little sparse. I was like, yeah, I've, I'm probably missing a set somewhere, somewhere around here, somehow. Well, on the plus side, uh, not having a regular setup means I can actually kind of focus on what I want to do. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I don't know. I picked a decent-ish time to be away. Technically, I've missed a couple of, like, AAA releases, but there hasn't been any major indie releases that I'm like, oh god, I need to cover immediately. There's a couple, uh, but they're not out yet, so I can kind of just take my time and just hope I have a house, a house to live in in a week. It's going to be interesting finding this video, you know, if anybody finds this video a year from now, it's like, well, what happened to Wander? And the answer is Wander spent three months homeless and eventually had to give it up and go back to Boston. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's not going to happen. That would be a nightmare. Um, but I, 
I realize, like, it's kind of a weird thing. It's a temporary topic that almost doesn't matter. Uh, and so anybody watching this series, you know, a wh while from now is going to be like, who cares? Like, this, this is something from a long time ago, but I, I don't know. I, I've always kind of felt like my, uh, my YouTube channel is kind of just an archive of my life. Where I just talk about whatever, play whatever, and just kind of have fun with it. Uh, let's see, we don't care about the leather Bolteus. I don't even know what a Bolteus is. I think this is the only time I've ever even seen the word. But, you know, to me, my my channel has always, and probably will always, just kind of be this, this, not existence, um, this record of who I am slowly over the years. And you probably will find, you know, videos of me talking about, you know, maybe moving, you know, to Texas, or maybe moving to Seattle, or you know, moving out here instead, and I don't know. I think it's interesting, and I hope it's kind of like a, a weird record of, you know, who I've been throughout the years. I certainly, I certainly know at some point in my life, as long as YouTube doesn't shut down, I hope it doesn't. If it does, I'm going to have to buy like seven hard drives and immediately start downloading all of my videos. Um... That'd be a weird problem. Rebuild my army. I think I've lost like half my skeletons. Either that or they're stragglers. No, it looks like they're just stragglers at this point. Let's not stand in the poison. Um, but yeah, if YouTube ever does shut down, I'm just going to download everything. I'm not even sure what I'd do with it all. Which would be a bit of a problem. Yeah, eh. I don't know. It could be one of those where like... If it did shut down, there'd probably be some kind of competitor to take over. I I can only imagine, like, the bandwidth and the hard drive space and all the systems uh, required to keep a site up like YouTube. Those will probably get a lot cheaper over the next, like, 10, 20 years. You know, as hard drives get ridiculously large and uh, stupid fast internet becomes, like, normal. Until then, pretty much only Google can do it, and Pornhub, but that's that's a different thing. Nope, I'm not going to be able to destroy that, even if I wanted to. Uh, let's see. So hopefully, I don't know. I know people like to get really mad at YouTube for good and bad reasons, but I think I will constantly be like, well, I hope it stays around. It's currently my main, main income source, and it'd be kind of tough uh, to have to, like, switch over right now. Everybody likes to get up in arms about, about adpocalypses and stuff, but I'm just worried about the day where YouTube is just like, never mind. Or YouTube, Google's like, yeah, nope, YouTube ain't worth it. And I'm like, oh no. It's absolutely worth it for them. Don't don't ever believe that uh, that Google is actually hemorrhaging money for, for YouTube. It's incredible market research and probably amazing for uh, for like targeted advertisements and so on and so forth. And like, they can use that. And it's probably not for good, but, I mean, I don't know. I like my armies. They're fun. Keeper's Journal. The council has ordered the necropolis sealed. I could purge the corruption from the awakened with a little more time. But they will not listen. They call the embers effect a curse and feign concern for the peaceful rest of our ancestors. But fear alone guides them. If the Council refuses to accept the blessings of eternal life, we will keep the Ember for ourselves. Woe to any who disturb our sanctuary! Good luck with my minions. I think I remember this being like a legitimately hard boss fight-ish. It's uh... <laughs> okay, maybe not a legitimately hard boss fight. But I remember these things like actually doing damage to me back in the day. Not so much anymore. I uh... I didn't really do much. I like this. I'm going to... I'm probably going to make this this build even more ridiculous. I 
I don't know. I love mini ma master builds. I like bruiser brawler builds in action RPGs, but I think over the years, the the constant the constant uh, what is it? I'm gonna call it like just running around and clicking on enemies got kind of boring, and so game for games like this where I can just like just let a bunch of AI companions do it for me. Yeah, that actually has like a huge I'm appeal. Because I can more or less just uh, kick back and let uh, let the game play itself while I'm just kind of here to just talk about things. I realize this is like <laughs> the laziest thing you can do. I don't know. That's fun. Blue four balance spear unidentified belt. What are you? What do you got for me? Um. It's, it's meaningless. It's not good. I mean, neither, neither are particularly good. That's slightly better. My pack is full. I should probably start offloading all of those uh, potions onto him, too. Because there's no way I'm going to be using any of them. Especially for, like, regular content. It's just too easy. Onwards. Nice other thing about Torchlight is you really don't need to care too much about... Um, you don't need to care too much about, like, clearing levels. I'm trying to think of which ones you really did. I think I did in Diablo, I think, because the level design was a little bit murkier. Procedural generation got kind of weird back in, the like, the 90s. Was it the 90s? Diablo 2. It was either late 90s or early 2000s. It's been a while. I think... I think they were, like, some of the only people that really did good procedural generation at the time, anyway. I guess there was... there were some, like, decent roguelikes. Really, procedural generation just got kind of bad, uh, back in... Uh, back in the 2000s, when you... when everything had to be 3D. And so, like, procedural generation became really obviously, like, crappy. Uh, let's see, do we upgrade the nah no no no. Let's just keep every every minion up. Ooh, unidentified staff. Can't actually tell you if it's better. Oh, traveling merchant. Okay, does he have anything actually good? He's got we've got some embers, but I don't know if I care. Oh, that focus might have been good. Hmm, I'm gonna identify the bow. It's okay. Grab the staff. Kind of stolen on hit. Yeah. I'm just gonna kind of grab whatever. I know the uh, I know the staff can be used for melee attacks, but I, I am most certainly not attacking anything in melee. I'm just gonna dump that there. We got some things to do. Oh, that's easy enough. Get them, my minions. Wait, do I have more zombies now? I do. I thought I only summoned four. I maybe the numbers have gone up, or I have just never paid attention. It, all of these are probably entirely true. Eventually, I'd like to—I don't know. I, from what I've heard in like Path of Exile and maybe a couple other games, you can actually have like hundred uh, up to a hundred minions or something running around on the screen, which I'm sure is like so chaotic and meaningless that like, you know. I'm not going to say why even do it, but, like, why even be there? Uh, I gotta admit, that sort of, that sort of, like, building that kind of thing sounds really fun to me. Even if, yeah, ultimately it's just going to be a, a giant visual mess that, like, no, no human being can easily parse. I don't know, worth it for me. Probably get a little bit of defensive stuff just so I can um just so I can run into the middle of enemies. I guess what I can do is just get like a little bit in uh defense every time I level. What do we do? Do we keep going pet mastery? Yeah. Maxing that out well boring seems like it's probably my best best option. Owie. I'll just be over here looting things as the minion army slowly just pile <laughs> dog piles onto everybody. See, it works out great. I don't have to lift a finger. I just have to. Oh, half of them are stuck over there. Dinguses. I think they eventually warp to you. 
but it takes a while. Yep, there they are. Alright, well, that makes it easy. I love the fact that you can see the lower levels. I don't think it's actually... Like, I don't think it's actually designed that way. That what, like, I'm seeing is the actual, like, lower levels themselves. But, like, I don't know. It, the idea that they're, you know, it keeps going further down. I, I'd like to play uh, a game like that. One of these games, I guess. Where effectively, uh, yeah, you can just straight up see every level going down. I guess now in, like, even more modern games, you straight up can. Like, it's, it's not even that hard. And so, like, I guess Dark Souls. Huh, Dark Souls came out the same year as this, I think. No, no, it came out two, two years later. I think Demon Souls came out the same year as this, or pretty close. Oh, there's still more coming? Kinda. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we even have? Necklaces? Yeah, don't care. I'm just gonna dump off the health potions. Your has Let's see. Uh, but yeah, Dark Souls, you absolutely, anytime you can see, like, anything on the, uh, in the level, you can just go there. And, like, that's actually really, like, good level design. I, I don't know. 3D Metroidvanias are, are, that's a genre that almost, like, has nothing. There's, there's been a couple of attempts. I guess, uh, most recently there was kind of sort of... Uh, Darksiders 3, which actually did, like, a decent, decent job of it. Unfortunately, the combat was a little clunky, and, and it made me grumpy. It, it's weird. Like, almost as soon as I finished playing it, I wanted to play it again with, like, more knowledge. And they also, like, almost immediately rebalanced the whole game. I don't think I'm going to have time for it, but it would be kind of a neat thing to just load up at some point and just be like... So they changed a lot for this game. How much better is it? And the answer is, like, oh yeah, this is considerably better. Or, eh, it's about the same experience. Because I love Darksiders 1 and 2. And 3 was interesting. Shorter than I would have liked, but they had a smaller budget. I didn't even mean to open up that secret, but hey. Why not? I love secrets. They are convenient. Let's see, anything else here? I need you. Get out of here. But, I don't even know why I'm talking about 3D Metroidvanias and... Like, a loot treadmill uh, action RPG? Eh, whatever. Oh, I I guess it's just the, the closest comparison I can even come up with at the time. But I don't know. Like, it, it would be really neat if you could straight up just have an air RPG that almost used that kind of level design. Instead of these just kind of progressive levels, it'd be neat if need to actually play one that just has direct like this is this is where you're going. And you can almost like move around a little bit. I guess the main problem is most ARPGs is it's less about like the enemies are particularly complicated to fight and much more of they're just kind of in your way and you shoot them till they die or they kill you. Uh, rinse repeat for a while. Yeah, I guess that's probably it. You can't really get a, a whole host of of good level design in these games because I, it's kind of... I'm not going to say biased against you, but it's not built for it. You'd actually have to make the game, the game, the gameplay, I think, a little bit more, like, hands-on and direct and stuff. And so it works in, like, slower CRPGs, like uh, Divinity and stuff. You know, okay, sure, there might be a buttload of enemies, uh, but you're not slogging through, like, whole hordes of them at a time. Uh, there's no way, like, for example, combat like this would work well in a turn-based situation. I really could probably stop picking all of these up. I should probably also go back, uh... I should probably also go back to town and turn in, turn in this ember. I'm lazy. Usually what I do is I go back to town every time I hit the waypoint. I'm actually not sure how far we have until we get to get to that point. I 
actually think this is that complicated. I think we just do all of this. Unless this might actually just be the end of it. Let's see if there's like a minion frenzy button. Well, they are he and he is dead. <laughs> I uh Oh, mini mastery builds are hilarious. I was just like, I wonder how long this is gonna take. And then he died. And it's like, oh, oh boy. Hey. You've released the overseer from his madness. Now we can investigate his library. Ah, here are his notes. He mentions searching for an ember forge in a dwarven fortress, much deeper in this mountain. He believed it would cleanse the corruption from his awakened ancestors. I will return here another time to learn more, but this Ember Forge sounds promising. Come, let's go further down. We may not have much time. I was talking about, like, yeah, I should probably go back to town at some point. What do you know? I guess here we go. I... I remember this taking longer. Maybe I'm just faster, or maybe this game's a lot shorter than I remember it being. I can sit now, you, weary from battle, your sword wavering in your hands. Ogmorak the Destroyer, crack, cackling with vile laughter, wielding a giant flaming club. For a moment you thought all was lost, but then a rush of inspiration. You remembered your mother, no, your love, yes, your faraway love, and your your promise to return. In a rush of righteous fury, you struck the fiend down, and return here victorious. Ha, I will make you the hero of our age. I've been working on a song about I Eater the Doomed, but it doesn't have a fitting um conclusion. Perhaps you can pay a visit to Vorten and do something about that. I'll cast your story in the most heroic light possible, of course. I'm switching his voice around a little bit, I guess, but whatever. Might be a little bit too close to old man voice, but whatever. You found it. This is just grand. There's something odd about it, though. Something a bit dark. Perhaps it's just the nature of death lace ember. I can feel... But I can feel a thread of living ember within this piece. Thank you for finding it. Here's your reward, as promised. Anything you need. Have you seen an ember vein running through the, through water? I've heard that it can result in shimmering ember, but I've never actually seen such a thing. You'll keep an eye out for it, won't you? I'll continue my research in your absence. Okay, we've got another one of those like portally dungeons, but first and foremost, uh, do I identify any of this stuff? Not overwhelmingly. Never mind then. We also have this portal to a lost dungeon. No, oh, that sounds like something I should check out. Ooh, she's got a blue ring for me. It is not actually that amazing. Okay. Up here, Overseer's Eye. Oh, dang. 25 HP. Oh, that's not actually that good. I was originally assuming it would be a little bit more useful. Okay, pet cannot depart from here. Well, hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Overseer Chamber. Okay, there we go. We're going to send the dog out. Then we're going to go back. Okay, which should clear out the dog's inventory. Son of a... Okay, we'll just send it out the next time we go down. Let's start with the mysterious map portal and see what happens. And just send the dog out. <laughs> the jaw of the destroyer amuses me to no end. Every time I see that image, I'm like, that is a man with a powerful jaw. Holy crap, my minions are so much stronger than me. I am like Chump Man McGillicuddy. It's amazing. At least the minion swarm is more than enough to deal with things. I'm probably going to keep focusing on the nether imps, because I think that's the best way for me to get like high volume right now. I don't think you guys can hear it, but if you hear like kind of a low-key crackling noise, that's probably whomever has the room up above. I don't think they can hear me, but them moving around, I can definitely hear. Kind of annoying. I don't like living in hotels. I'm pretty much going to live in hotels for an entire week. Ugh. Your pet 
return. I can't, can't wait. Can't wait till I'm actually like in my own place again. Hello! Oh god, I shouldn't be doing this myself. I really should probably not be doing this myself. Owie. Oh, I should probably switch out my potions. I always kind of wish it would just like pick your next possible best. I'm just gonna... Oh, was I just resummoning my golem? I have no idea. I don't know where, like, my minions even were and all that. They're just kind of going all over the place. I know my dog's stuck on the other side. It's like, for the most part, isn't a big deal. Kind of is for me. And maybe, just maybe I should probably invest in a couple of, well, more useful spells of my own. Eh, let's set the pet to defensive, now that I think about it. I should probably have him defensive so he actually helps? Oh, there, some of these enemies are actual enemies. I'm not paying attention. Uh, let's see, so this will, this will upgrade the imps, more health, extra damage. Not much. Maybe I should do Pet Mastery. I'm just thinking every level lets me get more nether... Every other level get lets me get more nether imps. And so I figure if I can have... Ooh, discolored Life Ember. Hold on. Probably actually upgrade my gear. Because it, it has no chance for failure, I can just dump all my money into that. Be a good idea. Be a waste of time. Anywho, I am very... Well, I'm not going to say I'm very fast, but my minions are... My minions are kind of slow, so I figure if I just, like, charge ahead and grab everything and spawn in all the mobs, uh, my minions will catch up eventually. Yeah, I... I figure I could also just more or less dump them all over here. Just kind of let everything go to town? I don't know. We we are my minion army. <laughs> you certainly shouldn't fear me. Ow. Stop hitting me. I am harmless. Good luck with the minions, though. They are very far from harmless. 